there was actually a trial called ACT in Canada um, that has looked at um, Tenecteplas, which is um, also a tissue plasminogen activator, um, same or similar to Alteplas, which is currently the standard of care in many countries. Um, but Tenecteplas has a higher fibrin specific specificity, so um, it's more targeted, so to speak, or it targets the, the thrombus better. Um, and that has been shown to be superior in stroke patients in the large Canadian trial. Um, and so, for instance, in Canada, um, TNK or tenecteplas is now the standard of care. And I think other countries probably will switch over sooner or later as well. And there's another advantage to, to tenecteplas, for instance, um, the fact that you can give it as a bolus. So it's done in 10 minutes and you can then leave the room and um, pull out the IV line. Whereas um, Alteplas, which is the current standard of care in many countries, um, needs to be um, infused over one hour. So um, that takes more time, of course. And for instance, the Norwegian government, I think, during COVID has made um, Tenecteplas the standard of care because they said the exposure time of the nurses is much shorter when you give TNK. They can leave the room after 10 minutes. So in COVID positive patients, they don't have that much um, risk of exposure, so to speak. Um, and it's just it's just faster. Imagine you have to transfer the patient from a primary stroke center to a comprehensive stroke center. Then you have the drip running while transporting the patient, which is more complicated as opposed to TNK, where you can just pull out the, the IV line after 10 minutes and then transfer the patient. So that's another advantage. Um, and then there are some, some experimental um, drugs, um, for instance, um, DNases, um, who are able to kind of dissolve or break up different components of the blood that are not tackled by um, TPA. So that's, I think, another exciting area to, to look out for. Yeah.